Hey, Easter is Sunday, folks, and if you don't want to make a big meal at home this year, there are a lot of restaurants that are offering up Easter brunch. Lauren and Drago is live this morning at the Lynn Hall in Edina, where they are hosting a holiday tea on Sunday. Hi, Lauren. Good morning, Chris and Megan. We are right on 50th in France, and I am ready to spill the tea about Easter, not about actual tea. Um, we're at the Lynn Hall, and I want to introduce you to Nick Pugmire, who's the pastry Hello. chef. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Thank so much Thank you for being. having this tea party with me. Of course. Me. Um, what a phenomenal experience we've already had. When you come to the Lynn Hall for tea, you get one of these antique tea carts rolled right to your table with all these different varieties of tea, and I'm going to make some for myself right now. Um, we've got Northern Lights, Red Dawn, Cran Spice, some of the classics, Earl Grey. I think I'll do this black jasmine one because it sounds pretty interesting. Um, Nick, tell me a little bit about the Lynn Hall and the experience you get here because there's really nothing else like it around here. That's true, yeah. The Lynn Hall, every weekend we have um, a high tea service. So um, like you mentioned, um, every table gets this beautiful tea cart coming to the table. You can choose your tea and then it gets paired with this um, gorgeous tea tower. It is gorgeous and you're responsible for the pastries. I am yes. actually spilling the tea now. I think <laughs> I'm doing that correctly. No, it looks great. Um, tell me a little bit about what we've got on this beautiful tray that was just delivered to us. Yeah, of course. So more often than not with the um, teas that we have, uh, the tea service that we have, it's two sort of scones, one sweet, one savory. We have four different savory options. Um, all kind of bite sized and it was prepared by incredible sous chef Todd Beardmore. And then the desserts down here, yeah. we have um, a wide variety of things. And this is kind of a highlight of our Easter menu that's going to be happening. So there's a little bit extra stuff um, than we normally have. So um, there's a rhubarb cardamom tart, Whoa. a roasted carrot, and uh, um, brown sugar cream cheese icing. There's French macarons, um, strawberry tiramisu. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Um, and then a uh, golden milk cheesecake. There's just a lot of variety to, uh, Nick, to indulge. Nick, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed here. Which one do I choose? What's your favorite dessert down Ooh, here? My favorite? I mean, I, gotta I love the macaroon, right? right? It matches my dress. What that, else? It's perfect. I um, gotta take a bit, bite of one of these too. Yeah, for sure. Maybe one of these things right here. That yeah. looks very fun. I love rhubarb, so that's probably one of my favorites. Tell me about, spring. you know, we're, we're getting into spring. It doesn't look like it outside or really Not feel yet. like it right now, but yes. what are you looking forward to with like the spring dessert season and, and what's fun this time oh my of year? Gosh. This, uh, this time of year, it's like life is happening again. So all the f ingredients are fresh. Oh. Um, things are mm. just, what do you think? This one is a honeysuckle macaroon. Yeah, I can taste it. So my colleague, he uh, really loves, uh, when he thinks of springs, he thinks of honeysuckle. Um, and so we wanted to kind of do a play on that. And so just a lot of, a lot of memories involved with, um, you know, nostalgic you, spring. You nailed it. And, and what a fun, unique experience to spend with your family or friends and get a little bit of everything. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Nick, we're just getting started. Thank yes. you. I'm going to chat with you guys in a little bit. Guys, we're going to show you a little bit more on what is on the brunch menu. You know, you can come here for in the morning anytime you want. It doesn't have to be for holidays uh, or for high tea. Um, we're going to see a little bit of that, and I'm going to tell you about some brunch places all over the state that you can still make reservations for if you don't want to cook yourself this Easter. All right, good stuff, Lauren. Thank you. We'll talk again in a little bit.